My name is Marco, and today I'm going to talk to you about a form of invisible light that our eyes can't see, infrared light. You might notice that I'm all kinds of funny colors in this screen, while in reality this is showing the temperature of the different parts of my body. You see a scale over here on the side, you see a low number going all the way up to a high number, that's the lowest temperature in the scene and the highest temperature in the scene in degrees Celsius. What you see here in the blue colors are the colder things in the picture. As you go up to green, it gets warmer. Orange and yellow, it gets even warmer. Red gets warmer. And all the way to white, it's the warmest. So as you can see on my body, the hottest parts of my body are actually around my eyes. So let's look at a few common objects. Here is a cold pack. <clears throat> this cold pack, you can see now the temperature scale has changed on the side to show the lowest temperature, which is the cold pack. This cold pack shows up as being very cold. If I put this on my hand and leave it there for a few moments, you'll see that it changed the color of my hand slightly because it made certain parts of my hand colder. I can also take a piece of ice, see just regular ice, and you see in the infrared that it's quite cold and it's actually dripping, and I can draw on myself, cool myself off, give myself a nice blue band across my forehead. Better get some of that off too. Okay, so it cooled off this part of my head, and as you can see, the temperature that it went to is down here. Now, here is some cold water inside of a spray bottle. Normally when we spray water, we don't really tend to see it. But if I do this, you can see it. You can see the spray of the cold water going into the air, and the camera sees the infrared radiation being emitted by those water particles, and it shows up as a temperature inside the, what the camera sees. Now, Let's look at a few more objects. <clears throat> you see this piece of plastic? It's a regular CD cover, and you can see right through to me. Now if we switch to the infrared, all of a sudden, it blocks the infrared rays that are being emitted from my body, and you can't see my face. So even though while this is transparent in the visible, it is not at all transparent in the infrared. Now let's look at another object that actually behaves in the opposite way. As you can see, this bag, this garbage bag, if I put it over my face, in the visible, you can't see me. But if you switch to the infrared, you can see right through it. And let's look at one more thing. This is just a simple cardboard box. You can see plain brown cardboard box. If I take my hand and stick it on here and switch to the infrared view, all of a sudden you can see my handprint. See, my hand's over here, but the print is still there. So actually, tools like this can be used by police force to go into a scene of a crime. They might see a struggle. They might see where people were walking barefoot or had their hands on the ground. And five to 10 minutes after the struggle, they can still see the heat signatures left in an environment. Veterinarians can also use cameras like this to look for inflammation in horses. So let's say that you have a racehorse and it's limping. You don't really know what's wrong. You can image their leg and see if there's a joint that's inflamed because more blood is flowing there and that part is actually warmer and the camera picks up things like that very nicely. So you can see that by using far infrared, which is what this camera picks up, you can see things that are normally invisible to the naked eye. Every single one of us is a great big light bulb, except we emit light in parts of the electromagnetic spectrum that our eyes can't see we primarily emit in the far infrared, what we call the region from about 9,000 to 11,000 nanometers. Now, if you look at the visible spectrum, it ranges from violet all the way to red, with violet being at about 400 nanometers in wavelength, red being about 750 nanometers in wavelength. As we go beyond the red, we get into an area called the infrared. And the near infrared, right close to the red, so around 800, 900 nanometers, is what a TV remote control uses. These objects right here, when you press a button, emit near infrared light. But as you go further, and you get to around 9,000, 10,000 nanometers, you're in the realm called the far infrared. And that is where objects that are in the temperature ranges that we're familiar with, so anywhere from zero Celsius to around 40 Celsius, they emit in this far infrared region at about 9 to 10,000 nanometers. And that is what the camera that we were discussing earlier can see. 
just to clarify, the colors that we were showing here as part of the electromagnetic spectrum have nothing to do with the colors you were seeing in the infrared color images. Let me show you. Here I am in color infrared, and now I'm switched to black and white. In this case, cold is black and hot is white. Once again, my name is Marco, and I'm from the Interdisciplinary Science Education Team at the Center for Biophotonics. Thank you for watching.